What is up, Frickos and Frickettes, and welcome back to the Arctic. Really? Now? Now is when you decide to start parking? What is up, Frickos and Frickettes, and welcome back to the Arctic. In today's video, we are returning, once again, to the wasteland that is TLC. More specifically, the wasteland, the garbage island, the dumpster fire that is the show I'm just going to dub over this because I keep forgetting if it's ultimate or extreme. So if I say the wrong thing, you're going to hear a post edit, alright? Okay. Extreme cheapskates. And also, a side note before we jump into this, I recently picked up Adobe After Effects in conjunction with my also recently picked up Adobe Premiere. And let me tell you, editing is really goddamn hard. Okay, in my last video there was a camera shake effect for about 3 seconds. It took me maybe three hours to figure out how to do that, okay? So if you see a camera shake in this video or any other effect, know that I'm struggling for you guys. Whew. The least you can do is subscribe, please. All right, enough of that. Time to get into the content. Save some space for my stock. Yeah. Excuse me? I promise you, you go to new levels every single year. <sighs> yes. Thank you. God, it looks like this one's not going to be a flop because five seconds into this clip, I'm talking literally five seconds, and there's already a plethora of things for me to point out. First, there is a Coke can and a red Solo cup hanging off of her tree. Second, she is hanging up a Nike black sock as a stocking. This video is going to be an absolute train wreck. Strap in! Christmas means everything to me. Not only is it great to receive gifts. Is this chick wearing tassels as earrings? She really thought she could copy Mei Mei from Kung Fu Panda's style without me noticing. Most people plan to spend an average of $800 on gifts every Christmas. But Sarah has a different idea. Throughout the year, I take things from my family and they think that it's missing. Then on Christmas, I give it back to them. This bitch is literally living out the plot of the Grinch, stealing Christmas and then giving it right back. And on that day, her heart grew three times bigger. And so did the gap in her teeth. <laughs> I got these nice shades that I got from Nisha throughout the year. She's gonna be so happy to get them back. Shawnee's purse. She loved this purse. So I'm sure she's gonna be so excited to see it appear back. All right, in all honesty, you probably did her a favor by stealing that purse. It's disgusting. But Sarah doesn't only want to repurpose old gifts. She also wants to buy her family something new. To them. Are we going to the mall? It is a mall. And Sorta. Sorta. Not kinda. Voila! This is a joke. Okay. I am all for stretching the truth a little bit, okay? If you were taking her to a sorta kinda mall, I'd be okay with you calling it a sorta kinda mall. But you took her to a place called Beaver Recycling. That's not a sorta kinda mall. That is a place called Beaver Recycling. Girl, alarm clock. It's amazing to me how people can throw good items out that are still usable. <sighs> good and usable, okay, are not synonymous terms. Say you're with your girl, right? You're getting frisky. Uh-oh, you forgot condoms. Cling wrap is usable, but is it good? No! There's a reason the stuff is here. No one wants it. It's trash. Actually, uh, it's recycling. <laughs> However, I do agree with you on the first point. Nobody wants it. What is that? Uh, it might I don't be know. A it looks like. Table. Yeah, that's. A, I don't know. Let's. It's a foot. A pleaser. foot pleaser. <laughs> okay. A foot pleaser. That was my nickname in high school. Christmas shopping was a blast. It was today. horrible. If Sarah came here for presents, I, you know, I don't even want anything. <laughs> yes! My girl, LaShawn, 
<laughs> it's a whole fucking mood. <laughs> Large nativity scenes can cost over $200, and Sarah is hoping to create hers without spending a dime. Joseph. If that nightmare fuel of a doll is part of your nativity scene, I feel like God has every single right to smite you where you stand. Okay, so mm. I got Mary and Joseph. Found them around the house. Mm -hmm. Um, I have my barn animals. Mm. <laughs> what farm is that pig living on? Tegrity Farms? Uh, and for those of you who don't get the joke, that was a South Park reference. Tegrity Farms is a marijuana farm. Uh, see, the joke was the pig looks high as balls. Wrapping paper may cost about 50 to to $100 for others, but it costs nothing for me. Where the hell did she get that number? Fifty to a hundred dollars for wrapping paper? Actually, I'm critiquing here, but I also have no idea how much wrapping paper costs. I'm going to Google how much wrapping paper costs. Alright, here we go. According to Amazon, we have pack of four, 120 square feet. Fifteen dollars. I'm gonna do some quick math, alright? Okay, so say that somewhere between fifty to hundred dollars, okay? Let's call that seventy-five dollars, alright? And we'll divide $75 by how much it actually costs, which is $15, all right? 17 divided by 15, okay? Five, all right? And now we multiply five by 120 square feet because that's how much square feet comes per purchase, right? So five times 120 square feet gives you 600 square feet. If people need to buy 600 square feet worth of wrapping paper, I must be doing Christmas wrong. With Sarah's reused gifts and wrapping paper, she spent only $20 on Christmas this year. It's Christmas! It's Christmas! It's Christmas! It is Christmas! It's Christmas! It's Christmas! It's Christmas! It's, it's, it's Christmas! It's Christmas! Christmas! Ah, I really hurt myself on that fall. Ah, I am rug burned up on my hands. Ah. Sarah, you cannot be serious. I opened it and realized that it was the glasses that I couldn't find from a year ago. I was a little shocked and a slight bit disappointed. What? No. You mean to tell me? That you're not overcome with joy after being returned your stolen items for Christmas? That's... That's preposterous! Merry Christmas! Oh, who is this? Are you serious? <laughs> I know you won't oversleep with that one. <laughs> His face! <laughs> he is one step away from throwing hands with her. One step, okay? Anything else happens, he's going... <clears throat> Now for grandma. Now for grandma. She's got this big ass box. She pulls out all of grandma's heart medication, her wheelchair, her dialysis machine. Grandma's just convulsing on the floor. And she's like, Merry Christmas. Here's all the stuff I stole. Meanwhile, grandma's just dead on the floor. Huh, guys, she didn't love it. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's the ultimate foot massager. Rest your feet on here, plug it up, and get a good old foot massage. How many feet been on that? How many feet been on that is a question that have been asked of me on many a first date. And the answer is... Too many. Disclaimer, this is a joke. I, I, this is the second foot fetish joke I've made in this video, and I promise you, feet creep me out, honestly. They're disgusting to look at, especially mine. Mine are... I got weird ass feet, all right? And if I get famous, okay, and my feet ever show up on the internet, I am throwing hands with whichever sick wacko decide to put my little tootsies up on the Instagram. Oh, now what y'all got to say? Uh, you did a good job. I love my foot massager. Grandma probably got foot aids now. When I turned on the camera, I was planning on reacting to a video entitled Dad Throws Daughter Cheap Sweet 16 at Abandoned Strip Club, right? Because with a title like that, I'm like, man, this is going to be wild. Uh, but here's the problem. Throughout much of the video, I... 
I kind of found myself agreeing with the dad. A lot of the stuff he said sounded pretty reasonable, and the guy wasn't nearly as unlikable as some of the other extreme cheapskates. So, um... Well, I scrapped the whole video.